What's up, y'all? It's Kristen from Kristen Plans or Planning Kalo on Instagram, and I'm back at you with another plan with me. This week, I am very excited that I am doing a collab plan with me with my girl Rachel from Gathered Plans. If you guys haven't already checked her channel out from our previous collab, I would highly recommend you at least go and click on in that description bar. I will link all of her information down below, but we are using the same kit this week from Avenue K Designs, and it is called Carnations. I saw Rachel haul this kit um, a couple months ago actually and I was like um that's gorgeous I need that kit and we're gonna collab whenever I get it in and she was like okay yeah that sounds great so here we are and it's been months later so we did have a couple questions that we said we were going to answer so i'm going to do my best to answer as many of them as i can shout out to liz um from the saucy sticker co pr team i will link her in the description bar as well but she's the one who sent in a couple of these questions so shout out to her thank you sister saving my life always um so yeah bitches here we go i really fast forwarded this because it was like over an hour when I uploaded it. And then I was like, uh, no, I am not going to record an hour long voiceover. So here we are with a 22 minute voiceover. And I feel like we're making it work sisters. If you're wondering about my voice, I just woke up. So this is waking up Kristen and I'm really trying my best to put out a positive vibe via my voice. But because I just woke up, I sound like a man or, I mean, I at least sound like a very groggy, pubescent teenager boy I don't know I don't know but we're gonna move past that because I thought I had a point to that but I didn't I didn't at all um so yes I went ahead and pulled in the inverted rose gold bows from the simply gilded sakura box I think that was February's box of this year I don't know but I pulled that in and I remember that she said in a live that this bow isn't actually like quote unquote the rose gold inverted and that the new rose gold inverted is actually coming out in the enchanted forest box that is of this month of july and um i don't i don't really care so i'm still going to call this one the rose gold inverted because i'm not going to be having the new box so i won't have the quote unquote real rose gold one so we're just going to kind of roll with it um but that's what that is. She said it's like a pinkish copper tone inverted bow, but that's too long of a title. And sister, I don't have time for that. And I'm not going to remember it. So clearly this is a rewind plan with me this week. I did upload my Cancun rewind last week. And I think that turned out so gorgeous. The colors in it were just stunning. And I was really, really excited about it. But this week I did another rewind because I went out of town this weekend and I knew I wasn't going to have time to like edit everything on up and I don't know what I'm saying I mean I guess that really doesn't make sense it's just an excuse that I had in my head that I was like yeah just do a rewind fuck it so that's what I'm doing but also Rachel of gathered plans she does rewind videos so it was just kind of easier for our scheduling for me to upload a rewind since she uploads a rewind instead of having me do a pre-plan and then her do a rewind you know what I'm saying y'all no you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you we good we good we good um, so this kit didn't come with headers. It came with like those word headers that are like to do today and I don't know, tomorrow. I don't, I don't know what the other one says, but I don't use headers like that. Um, so I pulled in some five millimeter washi from Simply Gilded and I kind of just made my own headers. I really, really love doing this. Uh, when was the last week I did this? I don't even know, but it is one of my favorite things to do just because I love finding new ways to use my freaking washi because I have so much of it and I just think it looks really clean really simplistic and still like very very light which is my favorite part about doing it so if you are a five millimeter hoarder like I am I would highly recommend using it it's it's really great I 10 out of 10 and look how pretty it looks and it's like all the rose golds line up and it just oh I love we love we love a uniform queen so I don't remember what the colors I used were from the five millimeter sets. I know that the top two rows are from the five millimeter add-on from the Sakura box. And honestly, that third one might be two, but I think the third one is like dusty rose or something like that. I think that's what the color was. I don't know, but I'm going to hop into these questions because I'm about to dive into my day by day and I'm like not prepared for that. So I'm basically just choosing from a list of questions and Rachel and I, I don't even know if we're going to answer the same questions, but we're choosing from the same list. So I don't know how that works out. Anyways, uh, so one of the questions on here is what's one planner supply that you can't live without? For me, that's probably 
like my tweezers. Um, I use them a lot in most of my videos. And I think in my, like in my last video, I didn't use my tweezers and I was so uncomfortable with my planning. Like I hate how long my fingers are. It's probably one of like the things I'm most self-conscious about. Um, because growing up, like everybody told me, oh my God, your fingers are so long. It's like, you have pencils for fingers. It's like, you have chopsticks for fingers. And I'm like, okay, grow up. Like it was so annoying. So I am really like self-conscious when it comes to my fingers being like out there. And, um, yeah, like, I don't know, like having my tweezers, like it just makes me feel better and I get like a more precise angle to put all my stickers down. I don't know, but I just, I like having my tweezers. It just makes things a lot easier for me. Um, another good one is probably that X-Acto knife that I just showed. That's a, like a thick ass crafting knife. I don't know that one. And I love it. I, I don't really like the size of normal X-Acto knives. I think those are just like so irritating. Like it's like, it's like the same weight as like a pencil or, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, that kind of hurts my hand, but this one, the way it's shaped, it shapes so that way it doesn't roll on your table, which is what I'm in love with because nothing in my family, like nothing in my house is what I meant to say. Nothing in my house is put together on an, on a level playing field just because we bought it all from Ikea, I'm sure. And if you buy shit from Ikea, you know what the fuck is up. So that's another good answer. And I guess whiteout, especially when I get that new Erin Condren, if I get the new Erin Condren, whiteout is probably going to be my new answer going into that year because that planner is atrocious. Um, yeah, mm -hmm, we're not getting into that. So Number two is what is the dumbest planner trend you've seen? I don't want to say it's a dumb planner trend. Um, it is something that like for me, it's not usable, but the Habonichi trend, like I know, I know that I could not work well in a Habonichi just because it's so small and um, I kind of already struggle just like using a bullet journal and having space for that. So I just don't think a Habonichi is for me just because it is so petite and it's like that's not really my vibe. So I don't think it's a dumb trend because I see how it's so functional for so many people and like that's dope. And I like that you can just kind of throw it in your purse and take it with you. Whereas like my Aaron Conjure and I can't really do that. So I mean like there's really cool aspects to it. But for me, I just don't see the functionality of it like it's just not applicable to my planning style so for that reason I like don't vibe with it at all um so I guess that would be my answer but I don't think it's a dumb trend I just I did think it was gonna be a trend when I saw all this Habanichi stuff come out for the first time I was like okay everything is literally tiny is this like a, a mouse's planner supply like I don't know what we're doing here but I do like how a lot of shops are moving from like Habonichi specific things and then making them more applicable to different types of planners. Like they're not just sized for Habonichi and now you can pull them into a different planner style. You know, I think that's dope. I do want to just go ahead and talk about Monday and then kind of get ahead of myself so I can answer some more of these questions. On Monday, I slept in. So I used a girl from planning like a pro and that is an Ava girl. And I marked in that I had some happy mail waiting for me when I got home that day. And then I also marked that I had to start packaging a couple of surprises that I have for you guys. So I marked that in. And then I also designed a couple different giveaways for you that I cannot talk about yet, but they are dope as hell and they look incredible. So really happy with that. And then I had Chick-fil-A for dinner and I watched The Bachelorette with, with my sister-in-law. I almost said her name. LOL, 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 LOL. Um, and then Tuesday I went to work. I had to work at an offsite location. So I marked that in with the letters to Apollo script over a mini clever gal crafts flag. Then I had Chick-fil-A for lunch because I have no chill. And then I ran some errands. So I used a script from Kinsey's creations for that. And then I also went on a target run, which I marked in using a target run script from letters to Apollo. And then I had dinner with my family at this restaurant called Freddy's and I lost my phone. So I didn't actually lose my phone, but like, I'll talk about that later. Um, I'm going to like bump through these questions and then I'll kind of like talk about my spread somewhere, I guess. Yes, let's do that. So this next question is what planners do you have? How many and what are their purposes? I currently have like four planners, I think. So let me do the rundown. I obviously have my Erin Condren and I use that one as my main planner. It, I do use it functionally. I don't use it to memory plan for the most part, but I do have my EC and I love it. Um, 
my next one I have is a bullet journal and I use it occasionally, but I mostly use it just to track things like budgeting, bills, um, like how often I wash my car, like shit like that. Um, it's like a tracker, basically like one big tracker in a journal and I love it, but I hate setting it up. So lucky for me, Rebecca from Saucy Sticker Co. did design some like new functional boxes for that and like hopefully it's gonna really just amp up the game and like make me use my fucking planner more so that's what I'm really hoping she made some really cute stickers for the bujo and I'm I'm really hoping it lets me use my bullet journal a little bit more um and then I do have an Erin Condren academic planner which I plan to use as a teacher planner because I'm a librarian now and I don't teach a lot but I do have reading intervention courses so for that like area of my life I will be using an academic planner. So I don't know how to like explain it further because I haven't hopped into it yet because the school year hasn't started, but I do plan to make videos using that planner. So stick around for that. Um, and then my last one is my Erin Condren focus planner and I love it. I literally love it. Um, I use it for my podcast and social media tracking just to like keep it completely separated because sometimes I do get into like the nitty gritty details, especially with all my PR teams. It kind of gets like confusing, like what I have to keep up with because they all require different things. So for that reason, I keep like a whole separate planner and it really helped me whenever I picked up a second PR team. So, um, yes. And this cycle I am on three teams and I do want to say that I am not that annoying bitch that just picks up teams to pick up teams. I literally join teams that I do really, really love. <clears throat> oh my God. I just turned into like the Hulk on that. I was like, Ugh. I'm really sorry that happened anyways. But yeah, I do join teams that I actually love their product and I'm like proud to represent. So there's that. All of my PR teams are always linked down in the description down below with a star next to their name. So that way, you know, it is an affiliate link because I am not a fake bitch. I'm not going to lie to you. I do get a little something, something if you get a little something, something. So <laughs> there you go. Um, talking into Wednesday, I put down a to-do list because I had a couple errands to run that day. And then I put down a like happy munchkin from once more with love to mark in that I got a new phone and I'm like in love with it. I'm obsessed. I've had it for about a week now and I have never loved a piece of technology more and I'm very excited about it. Um, I also marked in that I had to film a YouTube video this day and I can't even talk about it, which is like so irritating because I hate secrets and I hate surprises but I'm giving both of y'all secrets and surprises and I'm like oh, I'm so sorry I'm doing that to you but I'm doing it because I think it'll be better in the long run like you just have to trust me and trust that I know what's best like that's disgusting anyways I also had a chiropractor appointment that day so I marked that in using an appointment sticker from letters to Apollo my girl Jessica love you sister is so cute thank you and then I marked in that I had to pick up my friend from the airport. So I marked that in using an icon from the kit and then a pentagon from Sticky Sloth Designs. Going back to my roots with these Sticky Sloth pentagons, y'all. If you know, if you are an OG, you know I rocked these pentagon stickers for the longest. And then I became a hexa ho because I don't know, that six side really does something for me. I don't know. But I'm still, I'm still going back to my roots. I can still respect a pentagon. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Going into Thursday, I did go shopping at a couple like local boutiques in my area. And so I marked that in using a shopping script from Kinsey's Creations. And these are probably one of my favorite scripts I own because they're so petite. It just looks so cute to layer onto different like box styles. Like, oh, I love. And then I also worked on my SPC party swaps this day. So I marked that in as well. I did start reading this book I and by started I mean like I barely started like I opened it and then I read the forward and the table of contents and I was like okay break time so I do have to like hop on that though I got to start reading that book and then later that day I had to charge my apple watch so I used a doodle icon from bookish planning layered over a giving girl flag and then I did some laundry so I used a laundry script from Crenzy's creations and then it was date night but I ended up marking something else in at the bottom but I ended up changing it later but 100% it was date night my man came over and he brought me pizza and he got me bread, bread bites if you know what those are, you a real one. And it was so good. And then we played Mario Kart for like two hours and I whooped that ass. So mm -hmm. it was a good time. Uh, yeah. Let me know if you guys play Mario Kart still. Like I still play it on my Wii from 2000 and whatever. And I don't care. I have no shame. So <laughs> that was really fun. Um, question number four, what do you do at work and how does planning help you with that? I am a librarian now. 
So hopefully planning is going to really help me stay organized with all the projects I have to do along with my reading interventionist jobs. So really hoping that helps with that. Um, in previous moments like this summer I work at Kate Spade so I'm just like a sales associate so planning doesn't really help me with that like aside from keeping track of my shifts because it is part-time but when I was substituting last year at my same school um, I kind of just used my planner to keep track of the classes that I was scheduled for and if I had like meetings and things like that so in the grand scheme of things like I don't have year-long projects that I have to keep up with or like due dates so I don't really know how that planned into it previously but moving forward I'm really hoping that it's going to help me stay organized and like keep the little details in mind whenever I'm like overwhelmed with dates and projects and classes and whatever so hopefully that answers that so because that's 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 the best answer I can do um explain your obsession with script stickers and hexagons okay so this is like a very specific question to me so I personally love hexagons slash pentagon stickers I think they are the best for layering they're gorgeous they look so pretty they're like an extra pop of color that any spread needs it like my eyes just go straight to it and I don't remember who did it first where I saw it and became obsessed I really wish I did but I don't recall but I just think they're really great I think they're great for layering I think they look beautiful in all sorts of spreads and they're just like my go-to planner sticker I need it every spread put it in there that's what I have to say about that. Um, and then with scripts, I personally don't like my handwriting in my planner. So as you can tell, like I do my whole spread without my handwriting. And then I just try to like put as many scripts as I can because it still looks nice. But when I put my handwriting in there personally, I just think it looks so childish. I'm like, oh my God, who let this 12 year old write up in my planner? And I don't, I don't know. So I try to avoid writing in stuff as much as I possibly can. So that's why I love script stickers. Highly, re highly recommend, bitches. Like, I love scripts. <sighs> okay, let's take a break from these questions and jump into what I, what the fuck I've been doing for the past two days. Okay, um, I already did Thursday. Friday, I started with a to-do list, and I just marked in that I had to, like, pack and then do a couple of things for YouTube. And then it was also the start of the pink planner sale, so I used a scalloped quarter box and a script from Randy.plans that said bought the stickers because I went in. I don't know why I went in so hard, y'all, because my part-time check from Kate Spade is not doing the most because... Honestly, most of my chat goes straight back to Kate Spade because I buy so much shit from them. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I went in on these stickers and I don't respect myself anymore. Um, and then I also marked in that I had to go to work with the letters to Apollo script and then the Clever Girl craft, craft flag again. <laughs> LOL. And then I did go on a road trip to Austin. So I used a box, like a sticky note from the GP Sticker Studio and then a cute little foiled car from Samantha May Sticks. It is so cute. I need to go back and get a couple more of these in like all the foil colors. That's adorable. And yeah, I went to Austin this weekend. So I said I was going to do a live at the Erin Condren store, but y'all, it was so packed. I didn't feel like doing it. And I honestly, I was really overwhelmed because I was doing some stuff that I can't tell y'all about. So hmm, yes, y'all, you there are going to be some Erin Condren giveaways in the future, but I couldn't tell you about it. So like whatever. Anyways, yes. Then on Saturday, I marked in that I had to film a voiceover, but I ended up not doing it because I was drunk. So that was a bad time. Um, it, was, it was not a good moment, Kristen. But I did use a like a little microphone icon from Honey Inked and it's gorgeous. I love it. I excited about it. So I did that layered over a giving girl flag. Then I marked in a half box that I didn't need a new planner, but because I bought a new planner. I bought the academic from Erin Condren and I'm like stoked about it. And then um, I marked in like that little hard eye thing emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Because I got something that's like really exciting. I got a new cover and I finally put like my teacher name on it with my school and it looked gorgeous and I'm like really excited about it. So I marked in like that cover though and it looked cute. And then I marked in that I had to edit a plan with me, which I really tried to do, but it just didn't work out. And then my best friend is celebrating his 21st birthday, which is why I came to Austin in the first place. So we had like a little birthday dinner with his family and then his closest friends in Austin. And um, yeah, so I marked that in using like the little balloon 
El Modi, whatchamacallit, and then I had drinks on 6th Street that night, and that was wild, so I marked that in with the drinking emoji. And then on Sunday, it was my friend's actual 21st, and then I had to upload this video, which didn't end up happening, obviously, and then I drove back to Houston, so I used all that to mark all of that in, and then I didn't fill it out because when I filmed this, it was on Thursday, actually, so I was kind of guessing everything else throughout this spread. So now I'm going back in and adding my handwriting and it looks absolutely atrocious, but we're just going to pretend like that didn't bother me because it did, but we're pretending like it didn't. So here you go. So now I'm going to go in, add everything out, and I'm going to finish out these questions while I do it. Um, I think I'm on one of the last questions. So the last question is, what was your first planner shop ever and what is your favorite what's your new favorite so the first one i ever shopped from was called stickerific and i really liked them at the time but now that i'm into like a more specific style of planning they don't really work for me um my absolute favorite sticker shop for kits is saucy sticker co hands down favorite for scripts is probably letters to apollo or kinsey's creations just because they're both really unique fonts and then i think for like functional slash foils it's got to be sticky sloth designs because i love that bitch and um all of her quality is just incredible and she's so open to customer feedback like she's constantly putting out new releases from requests and i really like that um yes i think my new favorite sticker shop at the moment i'm like really into toffee bananas or paper shire um really really into them or even clever girl crafts i just placed a second order for clever girl crafts so that could be it too but that's that those are like just some of my favorite shops like i obviously fuck with simply gilded i obviously really fuck with like bookish plannings and samantha may sticks and like paper crown prints all these different shops i'm probably forgetting like way too many like planning city i've been with planning city since the absolute root so there's that But that's pretty much going to be it, y'all. I don't have way too much more to add on. I'm sorry this video went up late, and I'm sorry that it was kind of all over the place, but I just woke up, and I don't know what else to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have so much exciting content coming out for you guys in the next couple of weeks, so definitely stay tuned for that. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram, which is at PlanningKalo, where I will be posting some giveaways, some sneak peeks, and some new, like coupon codes and things like that. But that is my spread and I will see you all next time.